the Yankees have met with him already. Supposedly they're meeting with Strasburg today. Uh, if you had yeah. asked me a week ago, I'd say I don't think they're going to go to that level. Now I'm getting a different feel that they might, especially with Tanaka coming off the books and, and Paxson coming off the books next year, and they'd be set up with Severino and with Cole. Do you think they're real players for Cole, and will they go? Because they wouldn't go the extra year for Corbin. Will they go the extra year for Cole and that big money? Well, Michael, as you know, Patrick Corbin and Garrett Cole are two entirely different animals. Right. And I say that with all respect to Patrick Corbin, who was awesome in the postseason this year, who won a ring, and who I think in the end is going to be worth every dollar of the $140 million the Nationals gave him. Garrett Cole is the best free agent pitcher in history. And I say that going back to Wayne Garland and going back in the 90s with Greg Maddox and going back in the 2000s and 2010s with Scherzer. Garrett Cole is the best combination of present stuff, of command and control, of intellect, of competitiveness, of age and of wear and tear of anybody who has been out there. And that, more than anything, is why I think he's going to get the money that he's going to get because he is the total package. And when you have a total package like that, the guy who is uh, arguably, you could put Jake DeGrom up there as well. You can put Scherzer when he's healthy up there. Arguably the best pitcher in baseball going out with a two in front of his age in a year, you know, in an era when 30-somethings don't get paid. He's just got everything that teams are looking for. And if you want that thing that's going to push you over the top, if you're the New York Yankees, it's knowing that Garrett Cole is going to be out there on opening day, going to be out there the first day after the All-Star break, and going to be out there in game one of the American League Division. Division Series, Championship Series, and World Series if everything breaks right. Okay, so, I mean, but that would put them over the final luxury tax threshold involving moving the first-round pick from probably oh, 20... Oh, freaking well, Michael K. <laughs> They're the New York Yankees. I know, but... They're but not the, over... But the George is not on, the owner man. anymore. They're, they do a different, uh, different sort of business, Jeff. Michael, they're the Yankees. I don't care. I'm sorry. And, and you know what? Maybe that, uh, like, maybe in saying that... I'm not dealing with reality, and that is a perfectly fair thing. If this organization wants to run itself like that, then it can. But this organization is also 10 years without a World Series. Oof, you I'll know say what? what? It, it's, 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 it's tough, Michael, to make the argument to fans and tell them to just hold yeah. it and don't worry about it when Jeff Passan feels that way. Because that's essentially what Jeff just voiced is how fans feel. No, I, I get it, and I could see them doing it. But my, my question to Jeff is, do you think they are going to do it? That's a fair question, and, and I wish I had a more definitive answer for you, but it's the same thing. Listen, I'm not saying this, Michael, just about the Yankees either. I wrote this about the Red Sox with Mookie Betts a couple days ago. You're the Boston Red Sox. I'm sorry if Mookie Betts is going to cost a lot of money. That's something that you go out there and pay for. And as we've seen so far in this offseason, whether it's Yasmani Grandal getting $73 million from the White Sox, whether it's Mike Moustakis getting $64 million from the Reds, whether it's Zach Wheeler getting $118 million from the Phillies, whether it's Madison Bumgarner who's going to get paid, Anthony Rendon, Steven Strasburg, Josh Donaldson, and ultimately Garrett Cole, free agent prices seem to be fairly normalizing at this point. And by normalizing, I mean getting back to the levels that we've seen in the past. And if the New York Yankees are not going out there willing to spend, who exactly is? Now, one final thing about Cole. There seems to be a, a prevailing thought, which I always laugh at. It's like when, when Peyton Manning was a free agent while he has a ho home in Miami. Well, that's nonsense. But do you think he has a preference <laughs> to stay on the West Coast? Because CeCe had a preference to stay on the West Coast, too. I think Garrett Cole has two preferences. I think his first preference is to win, and I think his second preference is to go out and burnish his credentials as one of the best pitchers of his generation. And if he feels like he can do that in New York, under the freeze in front of 50,000 fans at Yankee Stadium. It's not going to matter what the sun is shining like in April or September. It's not going to matter what the weather is or where he wants to be. All that's going to matter is winning and what he ends up being looked at like as a pitcher. And if that's the case, then you know what? The, the New York Yankees and Yankee Stadium is an awfully good place to do that.